Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my ETS2 Let's Play. This time we are on the Pro Mods again. Pro Mods map again. And as you can see, the winter has finally arrived in uh, ETS world. And we are still, as you might have remembered from the last episode, I know a Pro Mods mm, episode is a while ago now, but as you might remember from the last episode, we are bringing a T-45 driller from Renault in the Czech Republic all the way to uh, Lindköping. <coughs> and this is here pretty much the last leg of our... Can I ask what you are doing there, buddy? Anywho, um, yeah, that was interesting. But yeah, so this is pretty much the last leg of our little tour, and uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, which I think is perfect for ETS, because, well, I quote-unquote just have to drive, so I don't have to use my brain too much. Really? There we go. So, the things I wanted to talk about today is, uh, well, many different ones. One of them being um, a virtual trucking company or VTC um, many of you guys asked me hey is the Northern Pack gonna have a VTC and I wanted to have one or wanted to establish one for a while but there were problems with the names because the names that I wanted to use are already taken but I came up with a different idea so I think we're gonna go forward now and we're gonna establish a VTC um, more about that as I am uh, <clears throat> going forward and establish that I'm gonna tweet about it. I'm also gonna have the link to the page of the VTC in uh, nah, in uh, or on our TS on our team speak uh, on the ETS2 channel for everybody to see. Um, by the way, link as I'm talking about link link for this winter modification will be in the description as well as in the mod sheet if I remember to update the mod spreadsheet but yeah so that is uh, all about that for now um, another thing I wanted to talk about is a thank you very much guys 36,000 subscribers is a number that I never thought I would uh, see mm. And yesterday during the live stream, or I should say this morning during the live stream, we uh, we reached this milestone, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's something. It's it's uh, yeah, it's quite quite humbling to be honest. Um, to think about, thirty six thousand people thought that I'm worthwhile subscribing. So that's very nice. Having said that, I want to talk about a couple of things that lately in streams come up all the time. So we're going to work it down one by one. Um, first, <coughs> excuse me, first, the first and foremost question that I usually get um, is, when is the next LSPDFR or GTA 5 emergency services coming? Um, answer to that is... I don't know. I honestly do not know at this point when the next one is coming. There will be one coming eventually, yes, definitely, but at the moment I still don't feel like I'm ready to go back to GTA 5. There's a reason that I abandoned the thing. And that was, and, and many of you guys noticed that too, or some of you guys anyway, and actually um, asked me about it in comments um, or pointed it out that I don't seem to enjoy um, 
GTA 5 at the moment and yeah I came to think of it and I sat back and I looked at the episodes myself and oh, I agree I did not sound at all like I was enjoying myself anymore and I got mad and <clears throat> very uh, very unlike me very uncharacteristic oh wow that was a little bit harsh on the brakes there mister There we go. But yeah, if and I said that yesterday in the live stream too to somebody who said, "Oh, well, I just subscribed to you for GTA," and I said, "Well, you know what? Then it might be time for you to move on because I'm not getting forced by anybody to play a game that I don't enjoy because it's not fair to you and it's not fair to me to play a game that I don't enjoy because if I don't enjoy it, then you will clearly not enjoy the video either because uh, well." I'm gonna be all grumpy and whatnot. Not my cheerful self. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh man, I apologize again. But it's okay. Oh wow. That's a lot of snow. That is a lot of snow. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's that's for GTA. Now my ne uh, the ne second most asked question on streams lately is A. Are you still part of Code Zero? B. When is the next episode coming where you guys play multiplayer? Um, that answer is twofold. Uh, A. Yes, I am still part of Code Zero Gaming. B. When is the next episode with multiplayer coming with Bugs and the guys? I don't know. Um, maybe marry soon. Maybe not sometime till sometime next year. All all depends. And let me elaborate a little bit on that one. Um, I always said that nobody has to change when they want to record with me. Um, because, as you guys know, I don't do the whole swearing thing. <clears throat> and that's still, that is my, my, my statement. I mean, I don't really, I, if you have to swear, then you swear. However, the one thing that changed about my original statement and now is I do have to care a little bit about it because I, uh, well, I know for a fact that families watch me where dads and moms approached me, sent me messages and, th and thanked me that they know they can let their kids watch me um, without having to sit there 24-7 and, and watch over their shoulder, which um, honestly, if you are a parent and you see that, you should still monitor. Oh, this is... A oh, wow. I did not think that was a... I really didn't think that was a... Uh a roundabout. Oh, this is two roundabouts. Now this is cute. Oh, all right. Now let's wait where he's going. Roundabout Valley. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so as I was saying. Um, yeah, my, my base statement is still true. I don't really care if you swear when you record with me or not. However, now I do have to care about swearing in general. Because now I know for a fact that there is some pretty young children watching the stuff that I'm recording. And uh, thus, I do very much care. And, like, yeah, it's hard to describe it. Um, I don't expect you to change. If you want to record with me, and I always said that, um, be yourself, right? But on that same token, the last couple of times I recorded um, with the guys, I ended up not using the footage at all because it would have taken me a couple of hours to cut everything out um, and still have some footage left. So 
when will the next episode be? I honestly don't know. I know there are some games where we don't have to worry about it at all, being spin tires and whatnot. But uh, GTA is just one of those games where, yeah, it, I, I guess it kind of makes people swear. Um, if that's if that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But uh, on that same token, that doesn't mean that I don't like the guys anymore and whatnot. I still see them like my younger brothers, and that will never change. Um, and that's also the reason that this whole question, oh, are you still with Code Zero? Yes, of course I'm still with Code Zero. It has nothing to do with it. The only, the matter of fact is that our channels greatly um, changed from where we all were originally. Um, in terms of content, and that's for everybody too. Not only from subscriber numbers, but also from the content that we bring. Um, and that's okay, that's good. I mean, I cheer for those guys that they all have this growth. And I know if I would do GTA more, I know that I would grow faster too. But uh, I also said always that I'm not gonna change who I am for fame, fortune, or... Uh, fame, fortune, I don't know, there was a third one. <coughs> oh, popularity, exactly. And that will be true till well, till I stop doing YouTube. If I stop doing YouTube, well, I might at one point. I guess it would be silly. Like who ever heard of a 60-year-old YouTuber? That would be super silly. But uh, no, I just thought we we get this out of the way once and for all because oh, I know there's people that don't watch this. I know for a fact there's people that don't watch this and. I kind of talking to myself in terms of that, but for you guys that are watching this, and I do expect that quite a few will watch it, especially since this is winter and it's something different. Um, but uh, yeah, for, for those that do watch it, you guys, uh, if you are in a live stream and you see one of those questions pop up, well then feel free to jump in there and give them the, the lowdown so I don't have to... Um, keep repeating myself over and over with the same one because I'm always concerned too that okay I I get into this long winded explanation why this is and why that is and why I do things the way I do well for you guys that are with me for years now um you heard it many times and I just don't want to yeah keep having to say the same thing although I know full well that uh yeah, partially I will have to say the same thing over and over. That's just the nature of the beast, I guess. Is there somebody really tailgating me, or am I dreaming things? Oh, is that my trailer? Hmm. Oh, it's my trailer, never mind. <laughs> hmm. Some, some people might think I'm a little bit paranoid, but... Oh, well. I really do like this winter mod. It's nicely done. It's one of the nicest winter mods that I've seen for this game. Oh, and yes, uh, um, I will play ATS when it comes out. There is no way I'm not gonna play ATS. Do I know when it comes out? No. I thought I did at one point, but all those predictions, even though they came from publishers, turned out to be yeah, nothing but wishful thinking, I guess. Oh, put garden. That's where the ferry goes. Well, I was right. I think this is going to be indeed the last episode of this run. Um, I guess <coughs> we can make this episode a little bit longer yet. And run on the ferry and maybe make it all the way up to our destination. Well, we'll see how things go once we are a little bit further north here. Who's all on here already? There's, I see there's Lantum, Lantin, Lan, Lan, Lanuti, which I do believe is an 
Italian glass manufacturer. Then there's downtown and Knapp Transporter. Um, and then who's that? I have no idea who that is in front of us, but anyways. We embark on a little journey. I don't know about the username of that particular m person, but he is the one, by the way. Um, he's the one that made the winter mod, which is why you've seen that. If I didn't decide to cut it out, which I might very well do. Okay, so another roundabout. My goodness, they really like their roundabouts, don't they? But yeah, guys, so I just figured we have to, t we should talk about this. Since it's always the same questions, and I just figured, well, might as well get them answered once and for all. By the way, with this run here, once this is done, I should almost have enough money left to buy my first own truck without having to um, now without having to get a loan. And oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, someone was asking me what the green LEDs are below the tank indicator, um, as seen. Well, if you look at the speedometer, um, where the 75 is, if you look uh, straight east from there, then, or straight, uh, straight right, then uh, you see the tank gauge, and uh, below the tank gauge you notice four green LEDs. Those green LEDs are um, an indicator and they don't work in game um, the way would work they the way they would work in real life but uh, they are the indicators for the def uh, def if you don't know what that is is diesel exhaust fluid um, <coughs> diesel exhaust fluid in turn if you have no idea what where that comes off from is uh, to lower the emissions um, to lower the the um, the emissions of your exhaust gases. Uh, that's what DEF is used for. I mean, we had a whole bunch of different stuff like EGRs and stuff like that um, that all turned out to be not perfectly working well. And, and to be honest, DEF is not working perfectly either, especially up here in the north. Um, it doesn't like to be cold. It has to be in a heated tank. So if you think about it, once we have hit temperatures of minus 30, 40 degrees, then yeah, DEF absolutely does not like that. It's even worse than uh, than normal summer diesel. And summer diesel at those temperatures really gels up too nicely. That's why you want win uh, winter diesel, or if you can't get winter diesel, um, you have to dilute your diesel with uh, some normal uh, gasoline. So and that's what the DEF is. Um, DEF usually is burned at a rate of, uh, I think it's one parts DEF, three parts diesel. So when your tank is empty, you should still have about one third of a tank of DEF left. But as I said, the DEF uh, consumption is not really simulated here in game, obviously. I don't even know if they have DEF in Europe, to be honest. I know it's a big thing here on our engines. Um, 
just because our engines were really really bad with soot and stuff like that um, and all the particles that's the same reason that we have those diesel particle filters <coughs> Oh, we had those DPFs, those diesel particle filters. A uh, problem with those DPFs was, um, as soon as you start idling your truck for a while, you have to idle it up to pretty much 1000 RPM, because otherwise your DPF will, um, will completely block up. And you really don't want that, because then you got nothing but problems. You get the engine check warning on eventually, and then it says, oh, you have to do a manual burn. If you can't do a manual burn, your engine will derate eventually. And that is nothing short of annoying. Um, this is called an acceleration lane for a reason, my friend because we accelerate how about merging into the flow of the traffic buddy too much to ask maybe yeah fuel wise we are doing good Yeah, that was another thing that I wanted to talk about, just remembered that. And that was something that came yesterday up as well. It's funny how that works. <coughs> and what that was is... Uh, I, I was asking chat in, uh, in the live stream. I was asking, so guys, you're all in a festive mood. And uh, one said, no, not really this year. With everything in the world going on, I don't think we should celebrate. You know what? If you let the actions of a few, of a few influence so much as that you don't want to celebrate anymore if you feel like celebrating. I mean, if, uh, if you don't feel like it in general, then by all means, don't. But uh, with the argument that, oh, because of everything that's going on with all the terrorism and whatnot, we shouldn't be celebrating, um, then you do exactly what they want. They want to interrupt our normal lives, they want to interrupt our normal habits, um, and they want to take your joy away pretty much, because then you are a much easier target for everybody, for all the bad things, for all the bad ideas. So I say, if, if you... ...planned on celebrating originally, don't let the actions of a few influence you to the point that... ...you don't want to celebrate anymore or anything. Just because, really, it's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's hurting you and nobody else. Oh, I love those fast lanes. I wish they... Ah, oh, what are you doing here, buddy? That was pretty close. That was pretty close for me hitting him. But that's kind of cool here with the train operating between the highways.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at the time now, guys, and we are almost at 30 minutes. So I'm thinking next... Uh... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, that could have been bad. <coughs> but yeah, I'm thinking here within the next five minutes. I'm gonna find a parking lot. And I'm gonna park for today. And unlike my original thought, I'm thinking now that we will not be done already. I'm just going to stay behind him. Why not? But yeah, guys, let me know what you think to all those topics down below in the as usually in the comments. Jeez, Louise. phone keeps going off. Well, there is a place to pull over anyway. So I will use that opportunity and say thank you so much for watching guys. Um, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this ride through the winter wonderland. And uh, you will join me again next time, um, real soon, when we are continuing to explore the Pro Mods map. Or the TSM. But until then, I say have a great day and God bless.